Previously on Town Hall 11 Free to Play, we discussed update information regarding the Super Troops. Today, let's answer some questions regarding the clone spell and the Electron Lalo strategy. What's going on, guys? My name is Joe, and welcome back for episode 93 of the Town Hall 11 Free to Play series. In the last episode, we talked about some very important information regarding the Super Troops in the Winter 2020 update. Now, also in that video, we used a different strategy from our norm, the Electron La Lo. Now, that also caused a lot of questions revolved around the clone spell. Players don't quite understand how the clone spell works and why the Electro Dragon was not cloned with a level 3 clone spell. So Today, we're going to do a comparison of levels between the level 3 clone spell and the level 5 clone spell. That way, you understand exactly what the clone spell does, as well as why you need to upgrade it in order to do strategies like this, because it's very important to get it to level 5 as soon as possible if you like these Electron Lalo strategies. Now, the Electron itself is basically the Battle Blimp, the Electro Dragon, and the Balloon, which is 35 housing space in your clan castle. Now, you also want to make sure that you have a clone spell and a rage spell and so the intent behind this strategy is to move the battle blimp in which also does damage both when it moves towards the town hall as well as dropping and doing splash damage on buildings and so you want to target areas where you have a lot of significant defenses that basically kind of interrupt your balloons and your lava hounds so in this case we got two air defenses an eagle artillery a wizard tower and also a couple of archer towers so we're going to move this battle blimp in and we're going to basically allow it to work. We're on half speed right now. And I want you to really see the placement of spells and the manual drop of the battle blimp. And so we're going to get into this area where we're going to drop our battle blimp. We're going to place our clone spell and our rage spell, releasing the battle blimp, which does damage to the air defenses as well as the wizard tower. And you're going to notice that the clone spell will clone that balloon. But why does it not clone the electro dragon? Well, let's go ahead and watch to see how this plays out. We got the Electro Dragon in there. We got the balloons in there working. They're going to take down that Eagle Artillery. And then they're basically going to keep moving forward, taking out an Air Sweeper. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Level 3 Clone Spell and also compare it to the Level 5 Clone Spell. So the clone spell is pretty self-explanatory on what it does. It clones troops. But the thing that you need to understand is that each level has a maximum capacity that it will clone up to. And so the level three clone spell has a maximum capacity of 24 housing space. What this means exactly is that we cannot clone troops that go above this number and we can only clone a particular troop up to this number. So in this example, we have a single balloon and we're going to run it through a clone spell. We got the one balloon which is worth five housing space it's going to hit that clone spell and it's going to reproduce four times or four clones and so you'll notice that with four balloons that equals out to be 20 housing space but we can only produce up to 24 housing space with a level three now let's say that the level three was a 25 housing space maximum capacity we would be able to produce five different balloons instead of four. So let's go ahead and jump into the level five and see what the level five produces. So the level five, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna drop one single balloon that's worth five housing space. We're gonna drop the clone spell and it's gonna produce up to six different balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that will equal out to be exactly 30 housing space. But what about that Electro Dragon, right? Because the Electro Dragon's worth 30 housing space. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this replay or this example right here. And we're gonna drop an Electro Dragon with the clone spell. This is a level three clone spell. So the Electro Dragon's going to hit that level three and you're gonna notice that it does not clone because it is 30 housing space. The maximum capacity for a level three is 24 housing space. So this is where it ties into that Electro Dragon balloon combination it will clone only the balloons but let's go ahead and get out of there and take a look at the level five so the level five will produce a housing space of up to 30 housing space so naturally with a electro dragon which is 30 housing space it will produce a single electro dragon which is also 30 housing space so now let's tie that together electro dragon with the balloon and the battle blimp 
So the clone spell will not clone a siege machine. It will only clone the troops inside, which means since we're working with a siege machine or a clan castle, there's a different set of rules at play here, and that is how the troops are released from the siege machine. And that rule states that the troop with the lowest amount of housing space will be released first. So in this case, we have a balloon and an electro dragon. So naturally, since the balloon is five housing space, it will be released from the siege machine first and will be the first one that gets cloned. Now, the only way to really alter this is to not drop the clone spell and save it for the electro dragon only because either the balloon needs to hit the clone spell or the electro dragon needs to hit the clone spell. And when it comes to the electro, we realistically want to have the balloons cloned. That way they can fan out around the electro dragon dragon and take down the defenses around it instead of the other way around because even though the electro dragon is a very tanky unit it can only take on so much damage by itself so you realistically need those balloons to get cloned that way they can fan out and destroy those defenses all right so now that we knocked out that very basic explanation regarding the clone spell and you understand why the electro dragon might not get cloned because the balloon hits that clone spell first let's go ahead and do one live and show you an example of it all tied together now this is the army that we're using right now because i have a level three clone spell and level one haste spells believe me it's not very pretty with the level one haste spells we're working on those levels but they fell behind because i'm more of a ground attacker and we've made it about 145 days as a town hall 11 so we're trying to change things up but realistically we would like to have very much higher levels here so let's go ahead and do a live attack and i'm working on those clan games right now because we got so much going on this week guys it's crazy okay this is not a bad base at all right no this is a very easy base actually but we got to make sure that we get our battle blimp into the area where we want to go right and we really want to come in behind these air sweepers because you know battle blimp into an air sweeper never really a pretty thing so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and drop our king over here. And we might use some wall breakers to try to open up this compartment for our king. Maybe will we be successful? Can we do it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the king in there, please. All right. And let's drop baby dragon there to do a little bit of funneling. And let's go ahead and release a couple of balloons. So let's do it like this. Let's go balloons and lava hound, king's ability, battle blimp up to the center of this base. And hopefully the queen will lure in. Maybe we might, we might not. Let's see how it works out. Here goes the battle blimp, move it in on target. Let's drop our clone spell, drop our rage spell, drop the battle blimp, destroy the queen, get rid of the eagle artillery. Balloons are gonna pair off, but they're gonna work their way into an air sweeper and end up dying. But the electro dragon's still going, right? We're looking pretty good. King's taking out some buildings over there. So let's go ahead and drop our queen right here. And let's go ahead and release a lava hound. And let's go ahead and release some balloons in here. So let's get some balloons down here. And let's just go ahead and bring the balloons in like this. <laughs> just go spam mode, right? Send the Grand Warden with the balloons working their way in. And now we need to use our haste spells to speed this process up. Come on, let's get the balloons in there. They're working in there trying to take down Wizard Tower, working into the center of the base. They found a tornado trap. Let's go ahead and use a Grand Warden's ability there. Let's drop a heal spell there for the balloons as they work their way through this area. And let's use a high level haste spell to move them up into that air defense, take down the wizard tower, and then they're going to overpower that air sweeper. Let's use our level one haste spell now, and we'll use the queen's ability. Drop a few minions on the back side of the base to kind of clean up a little bit. Let's drop one down here. Oh, 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 hold that thought. Drop another haste spell there. Freeze that archer tower. Get rid of this poison spell since we didn't need it. And there we go with that. Very simple attack, very easy base, but you understand the concept there. Wasn't necessarily the best choice moving that battle blimp into an air sweeper because it did turn on us but it's okay we were able to backtrack we got plenty of time for the cleanup but again i mentioned this week's going to be a very busy week because we have a holiday here in the united states and i am going to be cooking on thursday night guys so if you're down for dinner come on over we're, <laughs> we're going to be having some uh some puerto rican pernil y uh arroz con gondules if you're interested in that but we just got a crazy amount of stuff going on with the world championships right around the corner. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up the video with one final raid. If you watched that last one, you're going to probably be like, oh, my hot lantern, that was an epic disaster. I mean, I'm not necessarily one of those ones that uses the same strategy over and over and over for a long period of time, especially right now. As we move through Town Hall 11, we're starting to get a little bored at 145 days using the same stuff. And so we're trying to practice with different things. Now, let's go ahead and use that King's ability. And I want to try to get the Battle Blimp in on top of that Archer Queen. King's leading the way, so we got some distracted stuff going on here. Let's go ahead and get a balloon down there and there. Look for Seeking Air Mines and send our Battle Blimp in. And try to get in on the location where we got some air defenses. So we got Queen's ability. 
use the hey, the uh, clone spell, rage spell, and drop the battle blimp and try to destroy this area. Balloons are going to fan out and start destroying some things, but it looks like our archer queen is still going. Let's see if we can get rid of it with our... Come on, Electro Dragon. There goes the queen. Woo, that was close. Oh my gosh. But the eagle artillery is still alive. So let's go ahead and do it like this. Let's go ahead and get some balloons down right here. Maybe balloons right there. Let's go Lava Hound right here. Balloons there, balloons here, and let's drop our Grand Warden to go with them. Let's drop a few more balloons right there and try to speed this process up. Let's go ahead and freeze this area. Let's go ahead and drop a haste spell here and a haste spell here and see if we can get those balloons up into that eagle. Come on, boys, you can do it. They're working in there. Let's use that Grand Warden's ability to get rid of that eagle artillery. And let's go ahead and drop a, a heal spell on the backside over here, working their way through the expo and... We got a couple of balloons right here we can drop. So let's go ahead and drop a level one hay spell. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so bad. So slow. Come on, they're going to split. We got a nice little spit going after the wizard tower there. We got one more hay spell so we can drop a hay... Hmm, let's see. Can we drop it over here? Let's go ahead and haste them up right there. Send them into the archer tower. Let's go ahead and get some minions down and start cleanup process. Let's drop one there and there and there and there all the way around. And how's our balloons looking? They got rid of the wizard tower. They got rid of the archer tower. And now they're going down into that cannon that got missed. So now we're basically on cleanup. Will we have enough time? That's the real question you hear. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, not very promising here when it comes to time. We got 46 seconds and we still got a lot of buildings around the base. So you don't necessarily need to use your heroes very early on. It wouldn't hurt to kind of save them for the back side of the base too because they can also assist with the cleanup. So we might run out of time, but hopefully I get the resources off of this base because I am working on a hidden Tesla upgrade if I think, if I remember correctly, we got to do a hidden Tesla upgrade. Come on, balloon. Come on, balloon, get it down. We got a whole pack of balloons over here working on some random buildings. And all we have left over here is a couple of minions working their heart outs trying to get rid of these storages, man. Come on, dude, let's go. Do we have that poison spell? No, we got rid of it. One of the things that you got to understand is that if you're trying to use this strategy to farm with, you might not always need that poison spell. The poison spell is more for the clan castle troops, which we rarely find here out in global. We ran out of time. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, seriously? 99%? That is ridiculous. Which leads us into the question of the day. So we got a tweet here from a beast check that says, Joe, if there would be a book of heroes in the clan games, which there is not, then what would you do? Would you upgrade the town hall or would you sell it for gems? As you said, you have two months on the free to play series. All right, so like you said, it's a free to play series. So free gems is a lot more important than a book that we cannot use. So what would I do in this situation? Well, let's say that this book of fighting was in fact a book of heroes. Well, I don't necessarily need a book of heroes right now because I already have one that I claimed from the season pass and I'm gonna use that on my Barbarian King and then we're gonna be maxed out. So I would probably claim a gem offer here. In this case, the last tier has a, an offer for 100 free gems. I would probably claim that instead. You need to understand that by upgrading your town hall level early, there are some consequences in regard to a loot penalty by hitting lower bases and not claiming the full amount of loot, which forces you to have to hit higher town hall levels anyways. And let's say that you're not ready for that. And then there's also the consequence of going into clan ward. Then you have a town hall 11 defenses. Actually, in this case, we have town hall 10 defenses. You're basically giving up a free three star to higher town hall 12s there are some consequences here and if you don't understand those consequences let us know down in the comments below and we'll have to explain that in a later video hopefully you're able to get something out of today's video and if you enjoyed our content make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us every single day turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you want to see this base from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care